Kay Hansen is a female MMA fighter for the UFC. At first glance at her Instagram, any functional human being would conclude that she's quite pretty. A solid nine in my opinion. Yo, Kay, my DMs are open. Speaking of DMs, you can follow me at Musin Plays Games on IG. Anywho, women who are attractive tend to get comments on their posts. Sometimes the comments are a tad thirsty. Kay wasn't having any of it the other day, tweeting. The amount of raunchy and sexual comments left on women's posts is actually insane. Compliments are one thing, but some of the stuff I see under my posts and a lot of other women's is just gross. And then she got a reply from a follower. Half of your posts are sexualizing yourself. By no means is it a bad thing. You have every right to be confident. But yeah, women post these thirst traps and then get mad when guys come looking for a drink. It doesn't add up. It truly doesn't add up. Now, I'm not advocating or justifying the mad dogs in the comment section, but if you post thirst traps, you can only expect to get some thirsty men commenting on your stuff. It's just how the world works. It's like going outside in the rain and getting upset because you got wet. That's just how it works. It's totally cool that you feel confident enough to post photos that sexualize you. Half the dudes I know would never post a half naked picture, but it comes with the territory. If you post stuff that sexualize you, you can only expect a bunch of chads in the comments. Now, no one is telling anyone what to wear or what not to wear. I'm not trying to dictate what you should wear. I'm just saying, posting stuff like that will surely get the reactions of some mad horny chads in the comment section. So, end of story, right? The same woman who was like, the amount of raunchy and sexual comments left on women's posts is actually insane. Compliments are one thing, but some of the stuff I see under my posts and other women's posts is just gross. The same woman who tweeted this just a month ago created an OnlyFans one month later. I thought you were against the sexual objectification of women. Now you're literally fueling it. The hypocrisy is real on this one. I believe she should do what she wants to do. She should be able to post what she wants to post and she should be able to wear what she wants to wear. I just find it ironic that one month she's against the sexual objectification of women, then the very next month she's like, hey, sign up to my OnlyFans. Promise you, bro, you can never trust a girl with a Bible verse in the bio. I wonder if she has a Bible verse in the OnlyFans bio. If you guys enjoyed my video, leave a like and subscribe. Check out my other stuff and I hope you have a good day.